I wasn't quite sure what was happening. Mm. Yeah. It's hard to follow. I love the setting <laughs> yeah, no, and sorry. the image of him sort of coming out of the grass at the start because it's sort of well. it's sort of like a nice kind of peaceful area, and then this sort of figure raises up and it's just that like is it some sort of beast that's going to come and eat you or something. And it's sort of you see him wandering along, and I think this kind of silence works really well. You've just sort of got the wind. But at some point that hasn't recorded very well, so it is a bit No, weird. the sound, I think, because I, I find it hard to, to follow what was going on. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. I because it's quite hard to pick up sound outside, especially when it is windy. Mm. Really. And if we could hear it, we'd know what was happening a bit more. Yeah, I think that, the yeah, shot I really liked. I like really the... Um, I find it quite funny when you're sort of lying there in the middle of like a path and it's like a man standing next to it. <laughs> it's like something mm. you wouldn't normally see. Yeah, it's quite surreal, isn't it? Yeah. And a bit Monty Python-esque. Yeah, and yeah. And then it's, then he starts talking, and then it's the point where you kind of don't understand what's going on. I, I did like I did like the fact that the POV sorry I mean like the POV shot when he's like when he's following the man with the with the case. I think that's quite effective. If the audio was that was yeah. really working, I think it would be a much more enjoyable. The basis video. was very good, I thought, but the sound well, well, and yeah. I don't know. It seemed maybe it's because there wasn't any sound. It seemed to drag on a bit because I was listening so hard to it. But I yeah. think it needed a few close-ups just to kind of break it up maybe yeah. when he's mm. pushing up his tie or something because yeah, it's sort of all from the same sort of distance yeah it'd be a long shot long shots i suppose because i don't if it's probably used to sound but i didn't know what was going on but up to up, up to the point where the i knew what's going on actually up to the point where the man was standing next to her but after that i didn't understand yeah. it and so he, he, he got shot yeah. <laughs> i was like okay i don't off? understand <laughs> i don't know what's mean. Oh, jack was know. carrying some kind of he had a briefcase. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Ed, when um, Ed stood next to David, um, like initially, you can see his head. I thought it was Jack, and then I looked out and it was Ed, and I was like, mm. Yeah. What? I don't know if it's one of those things where it really works if you know what's going on, but if you don't, then. You're bugging. Yeah. Mm. I think Jack knew exactly. Yeah. 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 And I think he recognises the sound because if you just think I watched it, um, I wasn't, even when I turned up at home, I couldn't, still couldn't hear it properly. But maybe you need to read a bit about it yeah. to then fully so really a piece of a piece of work shouldn't need like yeah, maybe if it had more a different kind of introduction sort of setting up what's going to happen or something but if it's I a short film it's a short film in its entirety so you're telling a complete story aren't you for me it's more like a sketch yeah, yeah definitely I thought that would say part of it yeah, yeah. Like, the type yeah. if the um, if the sniper person was <laughs> so, like <laughs> um, talking to someone maybe on the phone or something about the target <laughs> Maybe that would have yes. made it more obvious what's happening. Yeah. Okay, what's the time now, please? Nearly 9 p.m.